welcome back to the our Azure DevOps course. In today's session, we will dive into an essential concept called the release pipeline. We will not under, only understand what a release pipeline is, but I also work through how to create one uh, in Azure DevOps. This is uh, this process is uh, important in any DevOps journey as it allows us to deploy our application efficiently and uh, consistently across uh, different environments. Okay. First of all, let's understand what exactly is a release pipeline. Okay. So release pipeline is an automated process used to deploy application updates to various environments such as a deployment, testing, staging and production. It helps to manage the deploy, deployment of our code from source control all the way to the final uh, environments where uh, our user can access it. Then this pipeline is a crucial part of continuous delivery. So what is continuous delivery? We have seen our uh, previous session. Okay. So this pipeline is a crucial part of a continuous delivery because it allows to for a regular reliable and repeatable uh, deployment of code changes. We set up stages, tasks and deployment rule in the release pipeline to control how our application is delivered. OK, so what is the benefits of using a release pipeline? So first is automation. Our uh, deploy our application without manual intervention. Okay, then second is consistency. Ensure the same process is followed across different environments. Then uh, third is speed. Quickly deploy changes and uh, improving overall efficiency. So these are the main benefits of our uh, release pipeline. So now that we know what a release pipeline is, let's uh, move on the demo part, creating a release pipeline in our Azure DevOps portal. So let's get started with setting up a release pipeline for our Hello World application, okay? Which is a Java Mountain project. Follow this step by step instruction carefully. So make sure your Java Mountain project named the Hello World is already pushed to our Azure DevOps repository. You should also have a build pipeline set up for this project producing build artifacts. If you don't have build pipeline, refer to the earlier sessions where we discussed creating one. Here I am showing the build pipeline, okay, which we made in previous session. So this is our build pipeline, okay, which is a published one jar file. If you don't see our previous session, so please check out. Now for the create our release pipeline, here you can see release option under the pipeline section, okay. Now click on the new pipeline. Now Azure DevOps offers various templates for this demo. So we will select the Azure App Service deployment. Okay. Now in this add an artifacts, we will add our build pipeline, which uh, we have created in the previous session. Okay. So here we will select our project, which is S3 Cloud Up. Then source is a test wrap. Okay. So in that we will select the latest and uh, source alias test repository. Then uh, we will click on the add. Now here you can see the stage one. So click on the stage one and uh, here click on the task. Now in this stage one we have to fill some details. So before create this uh, release pipeline, we have to do some setups in our Azure portal. Okay, so open your Azure portal. Here you can see our Azure portal and uh, in the Azure portal, please uh, go to on the create a resource. Here you can see web app, so click on the web app. And uh, here we will make uh, one resource web app, okay, which uh, we will use in our release pipeline for deploying our project, okay. So here, click uh, so click on the subscription. I have added uh, my subscription. Then uh, we will give the web app. So we will give the web app name. Hello world, okay. Then we will select our Java version. 
then uh, select your operating system okay so i am selecting my linux then region in the region i will select west india okay now just uh, click on the review and create here you can see your all details of your uh, web apps resource okay so check it and wait guys we have to make some changes we will select our plan so for this we will select free plan okay Azure uh, is giving free plan for this uh, web app. Okay. Now click on the create. So here you can see our web app is uh, creating. Okay. Now click on the go to resource. Here you can see our web web app has been created. Okay. Now go to the our release pipeline. And uh, here select the as the subscription. Then app type. We have selected uh, Linux in our Azure. Okay, so we will select Linux. Okay, now we have to give the service name. Okay, which uh, we have created in this uh, Azure. So our service name is Hello World. So simply type here hello world. Okay. Here no need to give startup command. Okay. Now click on the deploy Azure app service. Here you can see connection type, which will Azure resource manager. Then uh, all the details. Now we have to provide uh, our uh, package folder resource. Okay. Which uh, which will the our jar file. So here is our jar file. So give the full path of our jar file. Okay. And now just a click on the save. Here no need to change. So click on the OK. And click on create release. You can see here our pipeline stage one. Okay. Simply just click on the create. Our release is uh, created. So now go to the pipelines and release. Here you can see our uh, pipeline is created, which is our release pipeline. Okay. So click on that and here go to the our pipeline. Now it is uh, processing. Okay. Here you can see our Processing status deployment in progress. So it may take a few time for the deployment. Here you can also see the details for each task to ensure that the deployment is successful. Okay. Here is a commit section, then a work item section. You can see your whole process of our job. Okay. So now you can see we have successfully created a release pipeline in Azure DevOps for our Java Mount project. Okay. So now you can deploy your application efficiently and reliably across different environments using this pipeline. Okay. So let's check in our Azure portal. Go to the deployment section and here you can see deployment center. Okay, so now here you can see the message your app is configured with Azure pipeline as build provider. Okay, and uh, we can see our Azure project details here. Okay, project name S3 cloud app and a repository test repo. So now we have created a one release pipeline successfully in our Azure DevOps portal. So the beauty of a release pipeline is that it helps automate and uh, streamline the deployment process making your software delivery process smoother and more manageable. Okay, so stay tuned for our next session where we will dive 
deeper into the best practices for managing and maintaining your release pipeline okay if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day